Each of the logo basic variants has eight inputs. All inputs use the M terminal as their return path to the power supply, and normally the M terminal is wired to DC common or AC neutral. The DC only input type have the advantage that up to four of the basic module inputs can be configured as analog inputs. In addition, the four non-analog DC inputs are high speed and can read up to five kilohertz. This chart shows the logo basic selection process. For 24 volt DC inputs, you have the choice of transistor or relay outputs. The transistor outputs don't suffer wear and tear of relay contacts, but can only supply about 0.3 amps. The relay outputs can switch 10 amps resistive load. So choose between the 24 CE or the 1224 RCE, where R is for relay. For 12 to 24 volt DC, you need the 1224 RCE. The 24 RCE can handle DC or AC inputs, but has no analog or high speed inputs on the basic module. For 115 and 230 volt mains, the 230 RCE is appropriate. And note that this unit can handle DC as well. In the product name, R means relay output, C means real time clock, and E means Ethernet. All of the version 8.3 basic units come with clock and Ethernet. The O suffix indicates that the basic unit has no LCD or keypad. All of this information is in the logo product brochures and links for data sheets and where to buy are available below and at quickplc.com. This slide shows details on the DC inputs. The 24CE has 24 volt inputs and will read a logic zero for any input voltage less than five volts. The voltage between 12 volts and 28.8 will be read as a logic one. Voltage between five volts and 12 volts will give an undefined result. It could read as zero or it could read as a one. An input greater than 28.8 volts may permanently damage the input. This could be a concern on 24 volt battery systems such as trucks and boats, which may reach greater than 28 volts during charging an engine running. In these cases, voltage regulation may be required to protect the logo. The 1224 RCE is pretty much the same as the 24 CE we've just looked at. The noticeable feature is that the logic one threshold is reduced from 12 volts to 8.5 volts. This makes it a good choice for 12 volt battery powered systems as there's plenty of headroom for charging voltage. We can calculate the input resistance from the voltages and currents given. For the high speed inputs, we get five volt divided by 0 0.9 milliamps equals five and a half kilo ohms. So at 24 volts, they'll draw about 23 milliamps. The analog input resistance is about 5 volts divided by 0 0.07 milliamps, so 72 kilo ohms, and a 24 volt signal will draw about a third of a milliamp. Beware of this if using an older two wire sensor with built in LED. The LED, if it lights, won't be very bright. DC high speed inputs can handle 5 kilohertz, all other inputs can only handle 4 hertz. And 24 volts DC is now the most common industrial control voltage. The 24 RCE can handle AC as well as DC inputs. The logic levels are similar and the input resistance is a little lower. The AC ratings are RMS, which will have a peak voltage of root two times the RMS voltage. And that's why the max input voltage is lower for AC. The main thing to note are the input response times. There'll be a rectifier and capacitor filter on the input to hold the logic level during the zero cross. The turn on is fairly quick at 1.5 milliseconds, but turn off is about one and a half mains half cycles at 50 Hertz. 24 volt AC is frequently found in air conditioning systems. The 230 RCE is also capable of handling AC and DC inputs in the range of about 80 volts to a nominal 230 volts.
The higher voltage gives a faster turn on because it charges the capacitor to the turn on point that bit more quickly, but it will be slower to turn off while the capacitor discharges.